guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. It is prediction time. A fight I want to talk to you guys about takes place on Saturday the 11th of June. It's the main event at the Wembley Arena as part of the Sky Sports Boxer Card. It's a cruiserweight contest and it is between Richard Riagpour, who is 14 and 0, and he takes on Fabio Turchi, who is 20 and 1. Guys, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for coming back and tuning into another video. In these videos, as always, I will give you a brief background into both fighters. I will give you my keys to victory. And finally, I will give you my prediction. Okay, so let's start off with Richard Riakpour. Richard Riakpour um, is not long coming back from a lengthy layoff from the sport. Um, he's two, three fights inside that time in the comeback. A routine 80-72 um, victory on his first comeback fight. He then stepped it up against Duradola, getting the stoppage in that fight. And then in his last fight, um, stopping Dion Juma in eight rounds, which was a good step up in terms of the comeback so far from Richard Riagpour. He takes on Fabio Turchi. Fabio Turchi um, is well known on Italian shores. He is 20 and 1, very tough individual. Notable wins over Tony Conquest and Dylan uh, Bregion, who recently lost to Chris Billum Smith. So, yeah, Fabio Turchi, um, aggressive southpaw, hasn't done an awful lot wrong in the ring, and I'm sure he will be very fired up for the fight on June the 11th v Riagpour. Guys, if I can move over and on to Keys to Victory. Keys to Victory for me, for Richard Riakpour. He is fighting a southpaw. Everyone knows the toughest shot for a southpaw to handle is a straight right hand from an orthodox fighter. Um, if Richard Riakpour can wait for Turchi to commit, I believe that he can land that right hand while he's coming in. As we know, if you're throwing a shot and someone's coming forward at the same time, it doubles the impact. Um, and I believe if he can time that correctly, he could get a, f a, a fantastic and overwhelming stoppage in this fight. Keys to victory for Fabio Turchi, very different, but I believe that he's very capable of winning this fight. Fabio Turchi, for me, you'll see Fabio Turchi, he'll come forward and he'll jangle that right hand out, trying to draw a lead so that he can lean back and come in with his own shots. I feel he needs to adopt that same tactic but also push Richard Riakpour and make him work in the fight. His best chance of winning this fight is for Richard Riakpour to get tired and then come on strong in the second half of the fight. But the first half of the fight is very, very important that he puts Riakpour on the back foot and tries to entice him into throwing lots of shots. Um, guys, I want to move over and on to prediction time now. It's a very, very good fight, this one, and I think it's the right step up for Richard Riakpour at the right time. Going from Duradola to Dion Juma to Fabio Turchi seems to be very good matchmaking in terms of they're all tough fights for different reasons. Duradola was a tough uh, second comeback fight, then on to Dion Juma where it was a little bit of make or break because both guys had big ambitions to go on and win titles to now a man who is probably European title level, but it would not surprise you if in the future he got himself into a mandatory position, uh, position to fight for a world title. So I think it's a very tricky fight for Richard Riakpour because I went back and watched a lot of um, Turchi versus Tommy McCarthy tonight. Now, Tommy McCarthy is the only person to beat Fabio Turchi and it was a split decision. Now, we know that Richard Riakpour has the stoppage win over Tommy McCarthy, but styles make fights. And I believe that Tommy McCarthy's style was maybe a little bit better made for Fabio Turchi than Richard Riakpour's is because Tommy McCarthy has that patience. He can box on the back foot. Richard Riakpour's strengths is coming forward, throwing a massive right hand and power shots. Fabio Turchi also likes to do that. Both of the guys are punchers. Richard Riakpour stopping 10 of 14, Fabio Turchi stopping 14 of 20. 
It's a very tricky fight for different reasons. I'm going to go with my gut instinct and I think that Richard Riakpour will get a knockout victory in this fight. Fabio Tucci has not been stopped before and hasn't really looked like he's going to be stopped either. So that's quite a big call to make on my behalf. But I just feel that Richard Riakpour has to be patient for the first six rounds and try and draw the lead in with a jab and counter with the right hand. If he can do that, round about the middle stages to the second half of the fight, I can see him stopping Fabio Tucci, who is a very game and very worthy challenger to Richard Riakpour, and it'll be a very tough night's work um, if either man has not got their game plan correctly on Saturday the 11th. So guys, for me, my final prediction is for Richard Riakpour to stop Fabio Tucci. For me, that'll come round about the middle stages towards the second half of the fight. Guys, Greg Doyle, Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. Please check out all of our social platforms. I'll be back to speak to you guys again soon. Please subscribe down below and take care and thank you.